Hey, so you might be thinking about how to actually describe yourself in a PhD interview. If you are watching this video, you're probably really worried about doctoral interviews. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Maslach. I'm an Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship. And I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There were so many people that helped me out that I want to pay the favor for it, to help you out as much as I possibly can. So doing your doctoral interviews is a scary thing. It is really nervous. I remember when I did mine, um, I was very nervous throughout the process. I'm kind of naturally a nervous and anxious person. I do have that sort of underlying thing. And one of the questions that does come up, I've been on both sides, right? So I've been on where you are right now, if you're watching this, I've also been on the side where I have, um, you know, interviewed various people for doctoral positions and doctoral programs. And um, that question comes up is, you know, can you tell us about yourself or describe yourself and what you, who you are as an individual? It's usually kind of, you know, it, it might come up or it might not come up. It sort of depends on what's going on and how you described yourself within the application. So we do read the applications and go through all of those different applications. And sometimes um, it just doesn't show who you are. And we're just kind of curious more than anything, you know, A, um, do you know what research is about? And then, you know, B, who is this person that's actually applying to the program that, um, the, the program that, that we're, we're going to. So you'd be surprised and how many people just don't know what research is about and really, you know, how, um, what we do. It's kind of a, a obscure, weird world. I don't think a lot of people really truly understand what being in research is about and what academia is about. And I think that's why there's all these myths and stuff like that. It's kind of goofy stuff that's going on um, in the world around us. But what we're we're looking for is somebody that's just really curious about the world and um, that has a, a, an inordinate amount of dedication to to get things done. So uh, doing a PhD, doing any doctoral program, any really good doctoral program um, around the world is a really tough thing and you have to persevere, you have to really stick with the thing that you're doing. And the last thing we want to do is to um, bring somebody in that is going to really struggle and not, um, you know, thrive. And so that's what we're looking, we're actually more looking out for you than we are for, you know, making sure that, that the program is, is amazing and stuff like that. But we really just want to do what's best for you because the best thing that you can possibly do is to find something that fits you as an individual. It has nothing to do with, um, you know, getting into the program and all that kind of stuff. It's it's really, a, a, is this going to be a good career for you? And so we want to make sure whether you understand that. So if you're telling about yourself, you want to sort of demonstrate that you have done research, you understand what it's, what it's about, um, and also that you can show this sort of perseverance and, and that you're really curious about the world, right? So sometimes uh, you do meet really interesting people that have done really cool things and they're interested in doing a doctoral program. And sometimes you see these people that do, so I'm in a business school. And so you do see people that sort of switch careers and stuff like that from, you know, professional sports um, to, you know, maybe they were, I don't know, um, and, and, you know, that they were uh, a management consultant at some large highfalutin firm, and then they decided to sort of change careers and stuff like that. So um, we just want to know why you're doing that and what you're about, you know, what has led you to the point of wanting to do research? And then as well as why do research with us, with us specifically as this sort of um, faculty? So every school, every program that you apply to, um, it's a lot more smaller than you think it is. So you think it's a big grand university that's really scary and stuff like that. Actually, it's just a really, most programs you're applying to, um, a few people that are actually still active doing research. So most departments, um, so colleges um, or you know business or whether it's a school, business school, they're kind of divided into departments. And so you're applying to each individual, those those departments. I'm in a management department. And um, of those people that are still doing, you know, that are that are faculty, only a fraction of them are still, you know, actively doing 
research. So my program's a little weird. We, there's a bunch of us that still do research, but a lot of them, a lot of places, it's, it's only a couple people. And so you want to target to those people that are actually still actively doing research and excited about it. And so you want to, they just want to know why you want to hang out with them for the next five years. Um, and it's going to be longer, right? So these, you could think of these things as really long-term relationships where you're going to be hanging out with somebody for probably a decade. Um, because once you start working on a project, it takes forever to get it published and get it through. Um, maybe in, in the sciences, I know it's in the hard sciences, I know it's quicker. They have sort of a different model where they, you know, write things up very quickly and get it published very quickly. But um, in the social sciences, which is what business is in, it takes a long, long time. And even if you were in the hard sciences and you're planning on doing a really, really good article um, to get it into nature or science or something like that, it's still going to take you a long time to get it into that particular domain. So you just realize that these are long-term relationships. They're like marriages more than anything that you're hanging out with somebody. So you just want to be, we just want to make sure that you're ready for something like this. And so you should really think about, you know, doing this and, you know, really think who are you as an individual and why do you actually want to go into research? Just really don't do it just because of, you know, your parents are telling you to do it or anything like that. Um, you know, really figure out what you're about. And um, if you are not the person that's driving the your will to, to do something and to go into research, then yeah, you're probably not going in the right career. Uh, you probably have to think about why you're doing things in your life. So that's all we're looking for, is to have a real honest sort of um, understanding of are you going into research for the right reasons? And are you coming to the program that we're, we're a part of um, for all the right reasons? And you know who we are, so you have to read a couple of our papers, um, understand what we're about, and, and really just kind of curious and interesting, um, interested in who we are as a group. So that's it. That's, that's really the thing that you have to tell about yourself is, you know, tell your true story about who you are and how you arrived upon getting into research or thinking about research. And then you're going to do well. Um, and then, you know, tell the real reason about why you're actually thinking about the program that you are actually talking to. Anyways, so um, with that, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Try to make it as helpful as I possibly can for you. All right, take care. Bye.